Few things move faster and change more quickly than medical research and technology. The best way to get up to date is AATS Week 2014. This exciting and informative week reveals the best science in cardiothoracic surgery. This year's focus, becoming a master surgeon and educator. The week begins in New York City with two days of intensive instruction at the Aortic Symposium. Then the action moves to Toronto for the 94th AATS Annual Meeting. Well, the AATS Week concept came really as a product of the program committee uh, meeting throughout the summer. And when we saw the synergy between the meeting in New York and the annual meeting in Toronto, it became a natural concept. I think it's a great idea. It's really been, been needed. It's a time when we can devote lack of time to just getting up to date on, our, uh, on what was going on in our world. AATS Week kicks off with the Aortic Symposium in dynamic New York City. During this two-day program, you'll attend state-of-the-art presentations by world leaders in the pathophysiology, diagnosis and treatment of aortic aneurysms and dissections. Now in its 26th year, the Aortic Symposium is the premier international forum for surgery of the thoracic and thoracoabdominal aorta and is the largest meeting of its kind. Besides the main sessions, it includes presentations of accepted abstracts and a unique presentation on-demand system where you can update yourself on the worldwide spectrum of work. As always, the Aortic Symposium is going to be a, a can't-miss event for anybody who's interested in aortic surgery. For the aortic surgeon, you know, this is a field that's moving very rapidly. The technology is coming fast and furious, and this is the place to catch up on it. All of this takes place in the heart of the Big Apple, New York City, in a venue within easy walking distance of restaurants, shopping, Broadway, Rockefeller Center, Carnegie Hall, and Central Park. Be a part of it. AATS Week continues in Toronto for the annual meeting with many new and exciting features, like the completely revamped skills and postgraduate courses. On Saturday, enhance your mastery during the full-day skills courses, then return that evening for a hands-on learning session. On Sunday, the restructured postgraduate courses feature new rapid-fire presentations from leaders in their respective fields. Because so many individuals are interested and pursue uh, practices which involve both congenital and adult, we've taken the afternoon on the postgraduate course and combined the two where the adult and the congenital are going to meet together uh, and really focus very heavily on their combined interest in uh, particularly valve surgery. One of the most exciting things for me is the number of abstracts that were submitted for presentation. Almost a thousand abstracts, roughly 30% more than we've ever had at the AATS. Our specialty sees the AATS as the place to present their best science. And for the first time ever, the postgraduate lunches feature legends of cardiothoracic surgery, pioneers in our field, including Drs. Alain Carpentier, Aldo Castaneda, and F. Griffith Pearson. So these are unique individuals. Uh, they're, uh, they've made a huge contribution. They're pioneers in our field. Their career is, is you know, coming to a tail end now, but this is our last chance to sort of pick their brain. Every master surgeon and educator is also a coach, so two special guest speakers will focus on coaching. Rick Pitino is a New York Times best-selling author and the master coach of the 2013 National Collegiate Basketball Champion Louisville Cardinals. Coach Patino will share everyday principles of coaching that you can immediately apply to your everyday life and to educating and motivating residents. Margaret, Coach Meg Moore, is a coach of coaches. She'll focus on the neuroscience of effective coaching to reveal how the brain adapts to master coaching for lifelong improvement in judgment and technical skills. Finally, our own AATS president, Dr. David Sugarbaker, will deliver his presidential address, clarity of purpose and focused attention, the essence of excellence. The reason that the theme of this year's meeting is coaching to greatness is because there are very many similarities between the athlete being coached on the field or on the basketball court, and our residents and fellows being coached in the operating room and on the wards. So we've brought together two world-class coaches, one who coaches on the court and the other who coaches coaches, 
together with my presidential address, I believe you're going to come out of the AETS a better coach. There's so much to do and learn, it's hard to limit yourself to a few events. This year, you won't have to. A new single ticket format for each day of the weekend will allow you to move freely between sessions and attend a wide variety of lectures. For instance, on Saturday, you can attend the skills courses of your choice and the new session on cardiothoracic transplant and mechanical circulatory support of heart and lung failure. On Sunday afternoon, you can freely move from your morning course to the special joint adult and congenital postgraduate session on adult congenital surgery, focusing on the steps needed to become a master valve surgeon. And of course, these weekend sessions are all social media friendly, with audience response and live polling to enhance interactivity. I remember when I was a resident and you always had to pick between uh, one of the three postgraduate courses to attend. This year you can buy one ticket that allows you to attend all of the courses and you can therefore pick which sessions you want to attend. Make plans to stay through Wednesday for the newly added Masters of Surgery moderated live session where experts will provide commentary over videos of their surgical procedures. This is a unique opportunity to watch experts in action across a wide range of procedures and subspecialties. These are individuals who have mastered a particular technique that uh, we all are familiar with, but they're um, bringing some unique aspects of it that have made them very successful. Um, the purpose of it is to talk about the very details of the technical aspects of how they're doing the procedure, how they organize it, what steps they take, how they avoid pitfalls. Uh, very much of a technical session, so a hands-on, very much of a back and forth question and answer session. If you thought the AATS annual meeting was only for surgeons, Think again. This year we continue to reach out to the entire surgical team with expanded allied health programming on Saturday and a critical care focused session on Sunday with the Association of Physicians Assistants in Cardiovascular Surgery joining as a collaborator to provide an even wider perspective. In the field of cardiothoracic surgery, caring for our patients is not one person. It's not a physician, it's not a surgeon. It's truly team-based, and that includes nurse practitioners, physician assistants, and perfusionists. We are all part of caring for that patient, and AATS provides a wonderful opportunity to increase your knowledge, increase your skills in caring for these patients, and this is the meeting you want to go to. In 2014, the Exhibit Hall is truly your multidimensional resource center. Watch case videos in the Learning Center and presentations in the product theaters. Activities begin in the hall on Sunday evening with the welcome reception and then continue on Monday and Tuesday with coffee breaks as well as lunch service. The Exhibit Hall will also reach out to our young surgeons with Top Gun technical competitions, as well as a scientific poster session for residents from around the world, plus a new poster session for allied health professionals. And don't miss the all-new Surgeon of the Future Lab. The AATS is truly an international meeting, so you meet colleagues from all over the globe and you can interact. In addition, it has an excellent educational and scientific program, so you can be at the cutting edge. This is where decisions and consensus are going to be arrived at to dictate what cardiothoracic surgery is going to be in the next year. Many members of my own team will be attending the meeting for sure this year because it is the, a, a wonderful opportunity to get an update on what's the latest in our field. And a major theme of the meeting this year is going to be the expansion and future of cardiothoracic surgery, looking out uh, decades, focusing very heavily on trainees, young surgeons, young attendings, learning to how to build a practice, become clinical scientists, and to become the best possible clinical technicians and surgeons that they could, that they could be. And if there's nowhere, I think, that you can have all of that, such a short frame of time, with the very, very best experts and information available to you. All of this takes place in vibrant Toronto, an easy place to get to know and one where travelers quickly feel at home. Toronto is a city of contrasts with modern skyscrapers like the famous CN Tower, one of the modern wonders of the world, towering over miles of waterfront, boardwalks, parks and trails. It's an ever-evolving city 
with recent Stark architectural enhancements, like Daniel Liebeskin's addition to the Royal Ontario Museum, Frank Gehry's renewal of the Art Gallery of Ontario, and the wholly new Four Seasons Centre for the Performing Arts, designed by Jack Diamond. For food lovers, Toronto is a Canadian food hub with over 7,000 restaurants offering multicultural dining options from street food to white linen service. The Convention Centre itself is a top-notch educational venue with easy access to sessions and loaded with amenities. Social events during the meeting include a walking tour of Toronto's historical beginnings, a day at Niagara Falls, and an art haven at McMichael Gallery. And don't miss this year's attendee reception at the unique upscale bowling alley, The Ballroom. This is Toronto's newest interactive entertainment centre, with two expansive floors boasting inventive decor and fabulous food from a top-tier chef. I believe this year's 2014 AATS Week should be attended by all of those practicing cardiothoracic surgery. When you leave this AATS Week, I believe that you're going to be energized and more focused and better at what you do as a cardiothoracic surgeon. AATS Week 2014, the Aortic Symposium in New York and the 94th Annual Meeting in Toronto. It's a truly international experience where you can retool your skills and recharge your outlook in our specialty of cardiothoracic surgery. Register today at aats.org.